At the Deafness Resource Centre we are very much aware of the difficulties deaf people face in accessing health services. As an organisation we provide qualified interpreters and are available to give advice and guidance to health professionals on deaf access issues. When my mum used to access uh, NHS services, uh, they used to use me as an interpreter, which was very difficult for me at the age of nine because my mum was going in for a hysterectomy. So can you imagine me trying to interpret that my mum, you're going to have a hysterectomy? So I would always say, my mum would always say, you know, what did the doctor say? What did I say? I'll tell you later, tell you later. But by the time I got outside the surgery, mum would say, what did he say? And I said, I'd forgot. And my mum would never know what was going to happen to her. I was talking about one of the clients that used to visit every morning to the deaf centre because he had really bad arthritic hands and he couldn't physically put his own hearing aids in. So we used to get a member of staff to go down and fit his hearing aids. And he went missing for a while and we wondered where he'd gone. Um, and we found out that he'd actually been admitted to hospital. So we went up to the hospital, found out what ward he was on. And when I went in, he looked quite depressed. He was sort of lying, not sure what was going on. And he sort of held my hand and he, he was worried because he had bruises, they'd been taking blood, he wasn't sure why. So we provided him with a, a personal listener and that's got a microphone with it so we could communicate with him and explain, you know, what was happening. And it made the experience so much better for the doctors and the nurses because they had full communication. If he had to go for a next ray, they could explain exactly what was happening. So it did make a big difference to him and it'd be really good if we could put some more of these listeners in all the wards in the hospitals. You received a letter when? I didn't want to say anything, I'm fed up. I have to go and see the doctor at the hospital. Are you going to go? Well, it's hard to communicate with them. You have to go if you've been told to by the doctor. You have to communicate using pen and paper. It could be something about your medication. Well, when he writes things down, it's hard to understand it. Or maybe they give you a new prescription and you can read what's written on there. I know it can be difficult. Or sometimes when the doctors write, they write it down and it's their handwriting. It's what they write, I just can't understand it. Depending on the doctor, it can be hard to follow and lip read as well when they're speaking to me. I know it can be. I really don't want to go. You have to go. You must go and see the doctor. <sighs> OK, what should I do? You're ill. I think you should go and see the doctor. When you go, you'll know why they want to see you. Oof. Okay, okay. Hello. I've uh, I've asked you to come here today because uh, I want to review. Oh. Sorry, uh, Mr. Carter's asking if I can come and sit next to you uh, to help with uh, the sightline to see you. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. I didn't realise. Oh. That's better. Thank you. Well, I went to the hospital, you know, I wasn't happy about it. I was a bit sort of like, oh, I don't want to go, but there was an interpreter there. And I was at, oh, fantastic. They signed for me, all the information, I got it, it was great. I mean, previously I would have only understood a little bit, but now I know everything that I need to know about my heart. Everything's fine, they've given me a new prescription. I was before I'd have to read the label and try and figure out what I needed to be doing, but the interpreter told me everything. It was brilliant. I feel a lot better about it now. And the interpreter came from the Deafness Resource Centre in St Helens and the hospital booked them. So from now on they've said they will carry on booking the interpreters from DRC, the Deafness Resource Centre. I feel a lot better now in my mind because I haven't got to worry about any information that I might have missed. I mean, if a hearing person went in, they'd get all the information they needed, but it was brilliant for me to have an interpreter there. Um, nowadays, it's fantastic. You feel nervous about going to the hospital, but at the same time, you're feeling comfortable because you know that there are going to be interpreters there to explain everything, which is perfect. When I was young, a long time ago, there weren't any interpreters. 
and we had to write everything down and just pass a piece of paper between the two of us just to communicate. But now, having interpreters in the hospitals is a lot better. I had to go into hospital for a big operation. I had my bladder and my prostate, I had them both removed because I had cancer. And I really needed an interpreter there um, just to explain everything to me. And after things were okay, it was a six hour operation, which is a long time. And it was done six years ago, but things have been fine since. We're very keen to work with health professionals and to support them in ensuring that their services are fully accessible for deaf people. They just need to get in touch.